Hi guys, this is Lashat from Scarlet Moon Creations, and this is my mid-year stats check-in video. I've done the mid-year book freakout tag to talk about my favorite books, biggest surprise disappointment, blah blah blah. So if you have not seen that, do check it out. Uh, and this is all about numbers, the stats. Um, if you've noticed, I've been doing in my end of the month wrap ups, reading stats for each month, and this is just looking at my stats so far this year. Um, there's a couple of stats I'm not going to go over that I will at the end of the year, but there's also a couple of new things that I haven't really talked about yet. So let's get into it because we don't want this to be too long. I will say, as always, there is a link to the Black Lives Matter information down below, how you can help how you can support petitions to sign, ways to donate, ways to donate if you have no money, and information so you can keep caught up. With that said, let's get into the stats. So, this year, I have been using a spreadsheet and... I forget who I got the spreadsheet from, but it's one of those, a, a booktuber who is known for sharing their spreadsheet with others, and I've adjusted it somewhat, though a little bit more, I think, soon, uh, for my own personal taste. How many books have I read in the first half of the year? I'm. I know this video is coming out in August, but this is a mid-year check-in, so I'm giving you from January to June. So, I have read 47 books so far this year. My Goodreads goal this year is 60, and I'm definitely going to hit that. Uh, hit that, and I'm happy. Um, I put it at 60 even though I read more than 60 last year, as I said, uh, but that's okay, like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to read a lot because I want to absorb said information, but, um, the goal is not the goal, if that makes any sense. Like, it's, you know, the information rather than read as many books. Uh, quality over quantity, I guess. The next uh, pages read. I've read 16,628 pages so far this year. Pretty cool. I just... Not an important number. I just like seeing it when I do. Hours listened 83.9. So, audiobooks have greatly increased in my life in the last six months. I don't remember what my number was total for 2019, but I do know before 2019 I wasn't listening to audiobooks, so this is cool. Um, there are books that I wasn't sure I would ever sit down and put in the effort to read. and. The audio option really helped, particularly with things like memoirs and stuff like that. Like, they wouldn't hold my attention for long periods of time. So, yeah. Ah, uh, now library checkout. This should not come as a surprise if you are a subscriber or follower of mine, but I mainly use the library. I cannot afford to live the life I deserve as far as a book reader and buying any book that I want that piques my interest um, and I don't have the space for that either 
So I'm very picky about what I buy. I only buy stuff I know I'm going to reread and I don't know that until I read it the first time, right? So I have checked out 42 books this year from the library. That's the majority of the books I've read. And this second number is going to seem weird, but I've read 46 library books. Now, to explain that, um, for the most part, it's because in late November and December, I had books that I checked out um, and didn't read until this year, 2020. So, uh, particularly because of COVID closing down the libraries there are a bunch of books I had out for a while already and then they just stayed with me for months otherwise I probably would have not have gotten around to those but yeah so that's the library stats owned books read I recently uh, not recently but this year um, at some point when I had a moment made a list of all the books that I own that I have not read I don't have like a huge own TBR um, especially not physical books because I don't do that like when I buy I'm reading it right away even when I have more money to buy more books regularly I buy and immediately devour but um, I have a lot more ebooks because of reasons I'll get to in a second. But I have a total of 34 own books and that I have not read and two out of that entire list, two of them I've read this year. So the ebooks, it is a whole lot easier, especially when, I think it was last year, um, maybe the year before I was in a Facebook group created by a person who wants to share free pagan books, uh, pagan spirituality, witchcraft books, uh, as they became free on Amazon Kindle. And so when I saw one that interested me, I would go download it and voila. And as I was making my own TBR video, uh, list, I realized, oh wait, ebooks. And then I clicked into my Amazon Kindle app and there they were and there was a couple in my Barnes and Nobles Nook app as well also this year I subscribed to the tour.com um, uh, what is it uh, newsletter they send I think weekly and there's been some free books on that as well so that explains my 34 book old TBR for the most part. I think there's a couple missing, but not very many. So, moving on. My highest reading month. I've adjusted this from my 2019 reading stats because, as I said in that video, I realized highest and then best reading month are two different things. So, the month I read the most books was definitely March with 14 books read, but my best reading month, meaning the month where I had the most amount of high ratings, which I'd say 5 stars and 4.5 stars, that was actually also March. Um, I had two 5 star books that month and three 4.5 star books. So that's more than every other month. Um, 4.5 star, 5 stars were rare, 4.5 stars a little less so, but altogether that's the most in one month. March was awesome. And I'll get into maybe why in a second. So now let's talk about, let's break down the things. So formats. I read total of six audiobooks, 18 ebooks, and 26 physical books. So that's interesting. I think 
the first two to three months of the year really helped with that 26 physical because that 18 ebooks is purely thanks to COVID-19. Um, I was just, every book I read from the end of March up until recently, uh, maybe mid-July, was all ebooks with one or two exceptions and those were the ones I already owned. So and I would also like to add that there is some overlap between the audiobooks and the ebooks uh, because some, not all, but some were, I did books, I read books. But again, we're only talking about up until June, so it wasn't that many. Now, <clears throat> the genres, I read 28 fantasy, 5 romance and five contemporary uh those were my highest amounts i would like to increase the others some more um and I really i'll work on the uh spreadsheet so i can see a breakdown of the fantasy because i really like to see that i'm not surprised um at how this worked out because fantasy is my favorite genre if only because so many other genres are fit within it and I've been purposefully working towards getting more romance and more um, contemporary books read. Uh, I miss romance a lot and I often fall into reading slumps because I'm looking for comfort reads. I'm looking for meet cutes and sexy times and flirting and you know get together kind of things. That's romances are comfort reads to me and um, they're shorter. And then contemporaries I found out last year I do like some contemporaries so I want more. Next up, I read 12 Own Voices books, and I like that because I did want more of those, more black authors, more Asian authors, more Hispanic authors or Latinx authors, more indigenous authors, so I haven't read any indigenous authored books. So I will be working on that. Um, audience, I've read one children's book. Four middle grades, which, wow, um, 37 adult books and 7 young adult books. Uh, I think I read one new adult. New adult is weird to me, so I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I will look into probably more romances, because the contemporary new adults have not really been fun for me. I They were well written, but not happy reads, so I need to look deeper. Uh, identity. So these next three categories are all about, for the most part, the main characters. I, again, wanted to diversify my reading in these areas, and Instead of it being about the author, it's about the characters themselves, and while it's nice if there's rep of any kind in a book, I think it's one easier for me to figure out what that is, if it's the main characters, and two more important to the story if it's the main characters, so that's what I counted here in these stats. Uh, for the next three categories. So, gender, identity. Uh, for the most part, um, it's not that varied, but I have read two books with gender fluid characters and one with a transgender character. Race. Uh, I've read six books with black main characters, three books with African main characters, three books with Asian main characters, and four books 
with mixed main characters. Now I have to work on this because the mixed is a mix of a character who has more than one racial uh, identity and or ethnicity I should say. So maybe I should break those two up, race and ethnicity. Um, or I should say this category is race slash, slash ethnicity because I do have the African category and that was important to me to uh, specify. So I may expand this a little bit um, but I do correct myself now and say race, this category is race slash ethnicity, um, and also, I don't, what I was saying about mix is, more often though, there are work books where there are two main characters, and one character was of one race, and the other character another, and so I put that down as mixed. A good example of that was Rock Courtship, a novella I read, and the it's a romance the male main character was <clears throat> latinx uh from the bronx new york city hometown current location um and the female half of the couple the was asian and from the south southeast asia so okay like, there's not two columns, I can only click one for the category, so I put mixed, uh, because it was a mix of races. So, sexuality. I have read four books with bisexual main characters. I don't know how I did that, because I, with one exception, I didn't search for those, that just happened. Um, I read one book with a gay main character and please excuse the lighting an ambulance just pulled up I'm not sure why though um, two books with lesbian main characters and to be perfectly honest for these two I probably should say they were female love female FLM uh, characters well, the one with the gay main character was definitely specified that that is what he was. Um, and I ha I read one book with a pansexual main character and four books with queer main characters. Uh, yeah. Now, on to some new stats. I have been keeping track because I like them about the readathons I've been participating in. I find readathons fun. I'm not uh, all in. I have to get all of the points or all of the badges or read all of the books for every single prompt. If I don't need to, person, I'm not. It's not about winning. It's about the creative aspect of it for me. Like. Wow, do I have a book that I want to read at this time that will fit those prompts? Um, and yeah, there's a couple of readathons that I participate in every year Witchathons, um, Zodiacathons being two, and uh, I've started others uh, and go as they interest me. But Okay. I've only had three successful uh, readathons out of the 12 I've already participated in this year. That's meaning I've completed as many prompts as necessary to win whatever that is for each readathon. And um, the month where I did the most readathons were actually February and May, which I did three readathons each, and that's a little bit crazy, but sometimes it works out that way uh, for me. 
I don't know about you guys. Next up, I will talk about um, read-alongs. I am participating in three and I'm behind on all three. Read-alongs are you, you're reading with other people the same books, or in this case, series. And I'm participating in Elderling Along, which was not planned. Uh, this started, I think, in March. It's hosted by Becca and the Books, and we're reading the Realm of the Elderling series. At the midway point, at the end of June, I needed to finish the second book, <coughs> or I'm sorry, I need to start the third book in that first trilogy of the Realm of the Elder Lake series, and at time of filming, I'm still struggling to do that. Um, I'm also participating in the Kitty Norval series read-along, which is created by the series serious overload of series group on Goodreads and I'm struggling. I've only read two out of the 12 or maybe 15 books in that series because I don't own as many as I thought I did and the the library doesn't have any ebook versions of all the books so it's been a struggle. Um, the third read-along I'm participating in kind of fell apart, but there's still people all over who want to read the Cosmere, and that's Cosmere Along. It fell apart because Rachel Marie is no longer in existence in BookTube, Book Twitter, whatever. She was the official host, and she's gone. Um, that being said, I'm still continuing because I do want to read the rest of Brandon Sanderson's Cosmere. At the end of June, I have one book left in the Mistborn series. That's Era 1 and Era 2. And I'm going to read the short stories for that, particularly Mistborn Secret History. And for the rest of the year, I plan on reading the last series in the Cosmere that I'm aware of, uh, book-wise, and that is the Stormlight Archives. I should be starting as date of filming the, the first book of that very soon. So, like I said, I'm behind on all those. I'm doing my best with Cosmere along. Lastly, let's talk about series. Oh boy, I have a couple of videos about the series that I'm in the midst of, and this is just a quick wrap up of where I am. Not in every specific series, I'm just giving you the stats. So, I am, let me just check my, my thing real quick. I am caught up in only four series. I have completed two series this year, uh, technically three, if we want to count um, the Throne of Glass series, the only book I haven't read from that is Assassin's Blade, the uh, short stories that are prequels, I haven't read that, but I own it, and so, yeah, um, but I have completed two other series. I have 13 series that I am not caught up on. Caught up meaning either the series, that's it, there's no more published books and I've read all of them. In that case, I would be finished, but that doesn't count. Um, ongoing meaning there are more books coming out, but I'm not up to the published last book, the last book published in those series. However, I have started 15 new series this year. 15. Lord and Lady help me because I need it. I need it. So, please send me your energy so I start no more new series. None. Now, that is my mid-year stats video. Let me know what you think. 
how are you doing with your reading? How are things going stat-wise? Like, how many books have you read so far this year? What's your goal? Um, and I wish you the best for the rest of the year. Hopefully you do the same for the rest of my reading year as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please like this one if you liked it. Subscribe. There is more reading content booktube videos coming this week so hit that notification bell so that you know as soon as those videos drop and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>